In this screencast, I'm going to show you how the new ad submission process works using PayPal. Say, for example, we want to submit a new ad to the category Cars and Trucks. What I've done already is signed up as a new user, and now I've filled out the form. Description, the custom fields that I added, car type, and I've uploaded or attached four images to it already. I'm going to select the ad package, payment method, I'm going to make it featured and hit continue. It's going to take me to the review listing page which gives me a summary of exactly how the ad's going to look and the price total. In this case is $15.25. Then below it's going to have the rules and guidelines section which is completely editable by you within the Classic Press admin so you can have your own rules and regulations directly on your site in addition to logging the IP address of the actual person submitting the ad. I'm going to hit proceed. It's going to take me to this page here, which redirects me to PayPal in just a second. I'm going to take my PayPal login, which is actually the sandbox mode, and you can see the details here. I'm going to log in, and once this logs in, it's going to let me pay with a fictitious account. So assuming I've paid either with a credit card or using my PayPal balance. I'm going to hit pay now. Okay, great. Payment's been sent. Here's my transaction number. I'm going to click here to publish my ad and go back to Classy Press. Here's the landing page I hit. Your payment has been processed and your ad listing should now be live. Click here to view your new ad. Let's go ahead and click that. And here's the actual ad that I just submitted and it's live on Classy Press as soon as payment has been processed. You can see the different ad images here. Contact information if you want to reach me about the ad, a map of what I entered. And if you actually go to my dashboard as well, you'll see the status of this ad. And I can actually go in here and edit the ad itself or pause it change the actual description here, title, price, change images out, do whatever I like, and automatically the ad gets updated. So on the back end, let me show you how that works. Since that ad has been submitted, you will now see it in the back end side being the admin, and it comes with a little thumbnail next to the actual ad so you can see how that looks. The great thing about Classy Press is it uses the native WordPress media library so if I go into the actual library here all images that were uploaded with that ad are automatically added to this library so if you delete it from here you're deleting it permanently and from the ad as well if there's an image you do not approve or you do not want to see on the site this actually solves a lot of people uh, a lot of problems that people have with other products where they use uh, a different file upload system and they have trouble using it on their site since this uses the native WordPress image uploader, chances of you having a problem are very slim. Next what I'm going to show you is the actual transaction details. So if I come to my dashboard here, this actually had a different price before, now the total revenue has been updated, and if you come into the transactions log, you'll see the transaction that just went through with that specific ad. Transaction detail, total amount, amount paid, the actual user that submitted that payment, and they're actually verified. So this is a great way to keep a tab on everything that's coming to your site and if you need to track somebody down because it was an illegal payment or you're having trouble or someone just needs a receipt this is a great way to get it. Again this feature is only available with small business edition or higher so if you have personal edition you can upgrade later on but I recommend starting out with at least small business edition so you get the power of the transactioning. And that's it.